Hey there, sweeties! Jazzy here, and welcome back to Let's Get Jazzy Comic Book News! Been a while, I apologize. School has been kicking my behind in more ways than one. But I am actually on spring break next week, so there's gonna be so much more. There's gonna be like three videos happening next week, which is uncalled for for my channel, but uh, I was really excited for what was happening, and I have lots of editing that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna have the time. In addition to studying for two more finals that are coming after the break, so the things I do for you guys I got makeup on today I got makeup on I never put on makeup guys it and this this actually doesn't look horrible even though it doesn't look like I'm wearing any other makeup I, I'm wearing makeup and then I'm wearing lipstick I'm I'm not really a big makeup person you guys have seen but uh, I want to be I guess um, before I get into more stuff I just wanted to say I'm going to Canada Oh, Canada, I'm going in September. Did you like that? Did you like that little, that was my singing voice. No, it's really not. But um, I forgot the date, honestly. <laughs> uh, September is actually going to be the Fan Expo in Canada, which I'm really pumped about. And I already got my hotel room. Hopefully I will get the tickets. I'm going to be in Toronto for five days, which I've never been to Canada. But if Donald Trump wins the presidency, that is where I'm going. Anyways, okay. First thing on movie slash TV news, the shows that are being renewed for another season. First is Arrow, then there's Flash, iZombie, Legends of Tomorrow, Jane the Virgin, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Supernatural, The 100, Vampire Diaries, and the originals. That was just released today, so I'm pumped that all these shows are getting renewed. I watch every single one of them, and I'm excited because I'm a TV person, can you tell? But, um... That's going to be really cool. I had this idea for Supernatural real quick. And uh, I don't know if the guys, Jensen and Jared, want to keep doing it. They probably do. But I thought if they wanted to end being on Supernatural, regardless of the popularity, because they're getting older, they have kids, maybe they want to expand their horizons. Um, I think season 13 would be the perfect stopping point for them because with everything, Lucky 13, all that stuff, if they did it. So they do like 13 season and then they'd be done. And hopefully Jensen gets out of his behind and makes it so him and Destiel happens. Him and Castiel and they get together and they're in love. Misha's down, okay? Misha's down. Jensen, you're not down for some reason, which I don't understand because you played a gay man in a Marilyn Monroe movie. Obviously, you can play a gay man. I don't know why you're uncomfortable with it, but I respect that you are. I still love you. But if you and, and Misha, like... It doesn't even have to be, like, really intense, like, you guys have guy sex or whatever. It doesn't have to do that. But, like, if you do, like, a scene that just so... Like, maybe the end, they just look at each other and it's just, like, you just know. Like, that would be enough for us. It would. It just... You guys can't tease us that much. It's just not fair. It's not fair. Next. Harley Quinn Tattoo Parlor South by Southwest Film Festival. I was going to say film activity for some reason. Film festival. And that is happening. And they have this whole thing because they're going to be showing the Suicide Squad movie in the film festival. So they're advertising with a big Harley Quinn tattoo parlor. Though it's not an actual tattoo parlor, I don't think you could actually walk into it. If you can, that'd be pretty great, though. Um, speak, speaking of Harley Quinn. Alright, so you know this was happening. You know my, my Harley Quinn fan fanness. Yeah, tattoo and everything. Girl, Margot Robbie, I got things to tell you. First of all, I looked at recently, and apparently you tried on the gesture uniform and decided not to wear it for some reason. Girl, Girl. And also, also, apparently, you didn't do a fucking Brooklyn accent. What? What are you doing? We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. And you just, and you just screwed everybody up. You can do a Brooklyn accent. I know you're Australian and it's hard to do the Brooklyn accent, but you did it all through Wolf on Wall Street without it being a problem. So uh, doing a Brooklyn accent is, is not far out of your range, girl. And honestly, I'm not really looking forward to that movie because it seems like they're just over-sexualizing Harley Quinn to a point that I just don't understand why anybody would want to see it. And don't get me wrong, Harley Quinn is an amazing character and she's very sexy, but she is not that... She's not... That's not her entire being. She's more than that. She's so, so much deeper than that. Has so many layers like an onion. And I just... 
And the fact that they're not doing that in this movie and resorting her to a sex doll makes me very upset. Also, Margo. Margo, I don't think you're ever going to watch this video. But, girl, question, question. How those boots, girl? How those boots besides ugly? All right. Okay, get, like, I get it. You're trying to be all sexy, whatever. Could you have done, like, black boots or something? You had to do those ugly ski boots? I would have burned those. I would have burned them so hard. Question, question, question. This is what the point was. What's it like fighting that, girl? What's it like fighting those? How can you, like, do some kicks in some stiletto heels that do not look like they're stable for your feet? Just tell me how that is. I can do a lot in heels. Fighting is not one of them. Some people can, not me. Anyways, um, next is uh, Return of Carter Hill, Legends of Tomorrow, question mark. So there's a potential that that's happening, which I am very excited for if it is happening. Um, I think as much as I like Kendra and I like the actress who plays her, I feel like they could have easily... <sighs> She's just not her a separate entity to me at all. Like, she can't stand on her own. She's not a strong enough actress to stand on her own. And, I mean, I still like her and she still is pretty awesome. And, uh, well, I mean, she, I'm not saying she's a bad actress. I mean, like, this thing about Hawkgirl and Hawkman is they are always together, and that's their entire story. And now she's with the Adam for some reason, which is stupid. We know exactly who Adam could be with, and it is not Kendra. Let's get it real up in here. Anyways, okay, next. Last thing, because this video is becoming longer than expected. Spider Woman, alpha mini series of eight. Silk Spider Man, it was Spider Woman. And. Spider Gwen, they are, I can completely forgot the names, I apologize, and I actually really like the Spider Gwen comic, so you know I'm tired when I can't say proper words. So, um, they have a little mini series of eight, which I'm totally gonna read, and I'm excited that they all get together in one place. Uh, next, Justice League number 51, instead of coming out on April 20th, it's coming out on May 18th or later, if you guys don't know what the, the new 51 is. No, it's number 51, they're pretty much, sorry, that was weird. They're ending the, um, the justice, they're just ending everything because they want to redo the origin stories again for some reason. I don't get it. I, I was already pissed off enough that they did it the first time and now they're doing it again. Whatever. Um, and then that is actually coming out the same time as Rebirth, which is the new era and it's a 80 page one shot. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not really into it and I haven't been reading comic books lately because, uh, as much lately because of the fact that they have changed so many origin stories. There are a couple that have been changed for the better, but a couple that's just kind of like, why? First, but for, well, I know this video is getting long, but I have new toys to show you. Well, they're not really toys, they're comic books. And I have somebody who hooks me up with them because I haven't gone to the store in a while for reasons that I will not get into. Anyways, um, I got the, all of the Poison Ivy books. I have not, I've yet to read them, but I've heard they're really good. And I do love Poison Ivy as a character, so as soon as I read it, I will let you know how that goes. This is the new Avengers comic book that I was talking to you guys about with Rogue and Gambit. Though the cover is completely misleading because Gambit isn't even really in it. He is in it, but pretty much he, there's like, he's in it, but it's not him. It's just, it's a clusterfuck, but I like this cover. It was pretty. And I like Gambit and Rogue together. If that new Gambit movie has Gambit and Rogue in it, I'm going to be very happy. If they do that, I will watch it. I will have some hope for you, Channing Tatum, if she's in it. But if she's not, I'm not going to see it. Anyways, um, Harley Quinn number 25, where she beats the shit out of Joker. Who doesn't want to see that? He deserves it. He's a jerk. And finally, the plethora of amazingness. It is the new Neil Adams Harley Quinn cover. If you guys are familiar with this cover, that was actually Superman. Um, it's the exact cover, like the exact pose. And it has a newspaper saying Superman fails. And he's saying like, bro, well, he didn't say bro. That's just how I talk. He was like, I've done so much for you. How dare you? And, um... And that's one of Neil Adams' really famous covers, and he's doing a rehash of all of his covers, making it in the modern um, people, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but that's all for this video. I know it's come a little bit longer than expected, and I'm sorry. I hope it was entertaining nonetheless. Uh, but unfortunately, that's all for this video, and but um, we will always have the next one. See you later. Bye.